Hello, hello. Welcome back to Cat's Treasure Hunting. I'm Cat, and I am at Key Training Thrift in Homosassa. It has been about four or five months since I've been here. The last time I came, I bought a couch. And it looks like furniture is half off again today. I don't, I don't need another couch. But we'll take a look at the furniture, see if there's any small pieces we might be able to flip, and also see what else we can find. All right, so if you don't know, Key Training Thrift is home of the dollar clothes. So typically, what I get mostly here is clothes for a dollar. But we're going to see if we can find anything else. We're going to check out the furniture. They have a really nice bike. So if you live in an area where you can flip stuff locally, stuff like that would sell really fast. I, unfortunately, am very rural. And so selling stuff on like Facebook Marketplace does not really work for me because it's not a very populated area. So let's go in. And we're going to take a look at the blankets first. And I'm also eyeballing all those pillows on top. I found some amazing pillows at this location before. This is a pillow fort, which is a lower end brand. I do check the sheets because some, some brands are good. This is Leoma Lovegrove. I'm not familiar with her name. I did look her up and it looks like she does mostly clothing and there were, I think there was one sheet item listed by her and none sold. So that was a good pass on there. I, I do not get signal in the store, so I cannot look anything up while I'm in here. This is a really, really nice blanket. And I think most of their blankets are like $6.99. I did leave that one. Um, I didn't see a brand on it. This is really, really cool. This is a throw blanket and it's fly fishing. And I've done very well with fly fishing items. So we're going to get that one for $6. I think it'll probably sell for about $35 to $40. So I think that one is a good pickup. This one's just like a bookshelf one. So that one I'm going to leave typically at five i'll pick most up but when they're seven dollars i think a little bit harder on that all right let's look at these breakables and see what we can find this is super cute at 16 it looks I, almost like a holland mold possibly that somebody hand painted really really pretty and we're looking at the easter stuff tomorrow is easter depending on when you are watching this so i do want to wish everyone a happy Easter. I hope you have a good Easter tomorrow. We are going out on the boat to go swimming at the springs and Dalton did his egg hunting today. I'm not sure what these wood things are. If you know what those wood things are, tell me because I have no clue. And that vase I think was probably a mass produced one. I don't think that one was hand painted. So that plate up top was actually a pottery piece. I was thinking it was a wicker basket on a display stand, but it was actually pottery. A little walnut picture frame. That one's $1.75. Not too bad, but I don't think that one would sell for much. That inlaid wood box, I liked it. I'm not, I'm not sure why I left it. Sometimes I have to question myself. Little wood bowls. Wood bowls can be okay. Those were pretty small and kind of shallow. That is why I left those behind. I've done well with kind of soup bowls that are the carved wood. But with the more shallow ones, I'm not sure if those would do good. And I am trying to show you guys all of these collectibles so you can see if I miss any. Because a lot of times, I don't, I don't find collectibles here, unfortunately. I, I find them, but not ones that I think are worth picking up. Like, here's a bag of fruit. Fruit, some fruit can be good money, but I think they wanted $9 for that bag. And I think that was just a little more than I wanted to pay. This one. 
Looks like it was originally $2.25 wherever they bought it, and the thrift store has it at $1.75. I do think it's worth it, but I don't think it would be worth it for resale if you were picking it up to decorate your own home. I think that was a great deal. All right, we're going to make a U-turn here and go back up the other side of the collectibles. So I kind of vary the way I go in the store. And today we are doing all the collectibles first. And then we will take a look at the clothes. And as of right now, I have nothing in my buggy except that fly fishing blanket. That is it. This is kind of cool. It's a pottery little oil lamp, but they have it at $5. And I think that's a little high, but I think this is a really, really neat piece. I've not actually seen redware oil lamps. I mostly see the glass variety whenever I've seen them. Here's a cute little Southwestern pottery vase. That one they had at three, but I didn't really like the design on that. The design is typically what sells those. So I try and look for a little more detailed and intricate designs on those. This is like a little Lucite box. I'm not sure exactly what company that was from. I think it was newer. I don't think it was vintage. A little... That was a candle holder. <laughs> Used to be a candle. It was cute. Let's see if we see anything up here. These are... There, were, there was only one there. I believe that was a napkin ring with a shell. All the candles. Nothing good. I had to show you guys this. This is already sold, but how amazing is this? This Oriental lacquer set. If this had not been sold and furniture was 50% off, I really would have considered getting this to flip. Not for myself, but look at all these pieces. This was such a gorgeous set. So, so pretty. I just, I had to show you guys that. Really, really neat piece. All right. Let's go see what else they have. So much furniture. The store always has furniture. And I told you guys I got my couch last time. And you might have seen the video where I picked up my couch Let's see. I always look in here. This is their little crafts room. There is that vintage trunk down there, but it looks like it has some wear. And not seeing any baskets that are particularly eye-catching. This is like a beadboard. If you make jewelry, let me know. I don't know if those things are expensive or not. What? What is this thing? I'm not sure what this is. We are over in the like kitchen houseware section now. I still have only found the blanket. So we will see what else we can find. You know, I have to look at, I, I cannot not look at the cups. I can put the cups back, but I have, to, I have to look at the cups everywhere I go. Some cups will surprise you though. Oh, I got a waterer for the cats too. I didn't show you guys that. We put that waterer out in the barn. They and everywhere has a ton of plates and a lot of places you could probably spend the whole day looking through and there might be money buried under there, but it would take a long time to stack and unstack plates 
if you're not seeing something that catches your eye. And I did. I saw this. These kind of look like Italian pottery. They weren't marked, though. They were really, really nice. And there's some green ones as well. And those were marked China. So I was thinking maybe these other ones on top were as well. And these match those bowls. And they don't tend to get a lot of coffee mugs here. I'm surprised because most places have a ton. But they typically don't have a ton here. Just these few that are hanging on the wall. But nothing's really catching my eye. Let's see. Not much here in the small appliances. All right. We again... Did not find anything. So as much as I love the collectibles and breakables, sometimes I just cannot find any. So we're going to take a look at the clothes, my friend. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves in this trip with some clothes. Look at these. These are super cute. I love selling beanies, especially with pom-poms. These are Golden State Warriors. And the hats, I think, are a dollar or two dollars. Those should go for about 15 to 20 bucks. And super easy to photograph and ship. And this hat, I am going to pick up for Dalton. It is still brand new, a little Mickey Mouse hat. All right, next favorite place, the nightgowns. Nightgowns and robes. Let's see what we see in here. Most of these are newer. I tend, I will pick up newer like Victoria's Secret, but mostly I look for vintage pieces. I do better with like vintage robes, slips, nightgowns, things like that. Let's see. What is this one? This one's really nice. This is Stan Herman. Not sure. Not familiar with this brand. I think I'm going to grab that one. It felt like it was really, really well made. So I think we'll try that one. Let's see if we see anything else here. Big pizza. I think that's what that said. All right. We're going to start adding to our pile here. I am also, I've been looking at the bras lately. They're another thing that's really, really easy to list and ship, and they're not going to break. So I have been checking the bras pretty much everywhere I go now. They're most of the time not big profit, but I am okay with easy items for a decent profit. Look at this little Calvin Klein jacket, but it was too small. I was thinking I would get that for my grandbaby, but he's already bigger than that. Look at this Tampa Bay Bucks polo, but unfortunately I couldn't see the size on that one. This one's a Tommy Hilfiger button up. And again, all these clothes are buck. So, for a dollar, we're going to check them out. This is a bit and bridle. It's probably only about $15 to $20, but for a dollar to make 15 times your money is amazing. Look at this. We found a Orvis. Orvis is a great brand, and especially at a dollar. And there's another Orvis. Two Orvis. Two for a dollar Orvis. That one had a little rip, but for a dollar, I'm still going to grab it. There's an Izod sweater. Eh. Let's see what's... And they do color code everything here. This is a Real Legends fish shirt. Same thing for a dollar. And you guys saw I looked through all the collectibles. I looked through the linen. And I was coming up empty-handed. I had two things in my buggy. One for me. So 
we're going to the clothes. This is a nice redhead kind of like country hunting theme. I'm going to grab that one as well. Most of these so far, I think the Orvis might be worth a little bit more than that $15, $20 mark. But the rest of these so far are probably $15, $20 shirts. Let's see if we see anything in these blues. Not seeing much. All right, we switched to the pinks. So this one has a very good sell-through rate. Keep your eye out. That was a Wrangler tough enough to wear pink is the line for that last shirt. And they actually sell very, very well. So keep your eye out for tough enough to wear pink by Wrangler. Looks like it sells very well. All right, time for some tans and grays and browns. Look at this. Izod Argyle sweater vest. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I put that back. I really probably should have got that one. And if you guys know any of these brands, and I'm passing them up and should not be, definitely, as always, let me know. I learn as much from you guys as you learn from me, and I appreciate it. This one's Rugged Earth Outfitters. With the golden retriever that one i couldn't read the size though so i decided to put it back some more hunting somebody must have donated all of these because there are tons of these hunting camo shirts so i am grabbing all of them because i think for a dollar it's a good pickup and they're, they're just so, so I went from an empty buggy to it is stacked pretty high with all these hunting and fishing shirts. There, there were just so many of them <laughs> and they were all together. And this happens frequently. Definitely watch at a thrift store. If you find one of a good brand, check the area because most people donate more than one. Look at this amazing racing Coors Light quarter zip. This is an extra large and this one is only a dollar. It is not in the boutique. So that is a great find. Here's an Adidas jacket. Not, not in the boutique. A dollar for that Adidas jacket. So I think we have redeemed ourselves here I left another Tommy I, I I don't know why I do that I wish I could explain it but I have no explanation for myself I guess it's just whatever I'm feeling for the day All right, we're going to take a look at the scrubs and see if we can find any scrub pants. These are Grey's Anatomy. Same thing, a dollar and a 15 or 20. But when you add those up, it definitely adds up. Those were some nice, like, yoga jogging pants. So we're going to grab those as well. Most of these, and you can tell looking at them, most of them are faded and that's the biggest thing with me and picking up scrubs is that I don't want them to be faded. So I'm looking for like the brighter, more colorful patterns. I am not familiar with that brand. It was like a zip up scrub and that Wonder Flex is also faded. Excuses suck. Nike running. I like, I like this shirt, especially for a dollar. I really like the shirt. Here's a foot joy. How amazing is this? It does say Ocala Nationals, which is a horse race. And on a foot joy, that one might be worth some money. Here's another Nike golf polo. All of these are in the dollar section. How amazing is this? 
I always have good luck in the black t-shirt section. That is one of my favorite places to go. That's a Ben Hogan. It was ripped. Look, the hanger was like right through the hole in it. So that one we definitely left. Look, another Nike dry fit. Now we're in the women's and I'm just kind of walking and looking for things that stick out to me. I don't look through every shirt in the women's. I do in the men's. There was an L.L. Bean. And what is this? This is free people. And this brand can be a lot of money. And I've never found one. And we just found our first one. Just by walking. Now I'm like, are there any more free people things? Look at this. This is Patrons of Peace. Not familiar with that brand, but look kind of boho style and it was next to the free people. So I decided I will try that one out. It looks like some of those sell for like six, seven dollars, but some can sell for like 15. So hopefully we can get 15 to 20 for that patrons a piece. I am not sure though. That might have been a bad pickup. I was getting excited because I found free people. So I like walking the other way with the tags facing me. This makes it a little more difficult. But. So I should have circled back around. But I did find this. This one's French Laundry. Not sure about that name. I'm trying to. Pick up some more women's brands. So I'm just perusing. The shelves. And occasionally checking some tags when stuff catches my eye. All right, we're going to go around. See, now we have the tags facing us, which I think is the better way to walk down. And looky here, L.L. Bean top. I've done very, very well with L.L. Bean. So we are going to grab that one. I have a handful of ladies items just from, again walk in and seeing if anything catches my eye and I'm lucky because there is not a ton on the shelves here so I can actually see most of the brands on the tags normally these shelves are so packed that you can't and you do have to look through look we found another L.L. Bean which is great so that's the same thing I was telling you about those hunting shirts so somebody must have donated all of their L.L. Bean shirts, too, because there are a lot of L.L. Beans in here. One World. That one I decided to put back. Little Tommy Hilfiger polo. And you sometimes will find men's clothing and the women's and vice versa because they don't get it right all the time. So I think it's good to kind of peruse these. And I think we're almost done. So I'm going to go check out and I will be back in just a second and show you everything I got. All right. So only one thing was not closed and that is this fly fishing throw. I got all for Dub Nation Golden State Warriors, two beanies. I like selling those. All of these clothes were a dollar. I got the new page Nike Golf. Tommy Hilfiger, the Wrangler, tough enough to wear pink, looks like it sells very well, so keep an eye out for that. Real Legends camo. Somebody must have donated all of these. A Redhead, Bitten Bridal, Michael Austin, and then another Real Legends. This one is Rugged Earth, Redhead. I, I'm going to assume most of these were donated by the same person. I got this Adidas Clima Warm, Laura Scott, brand new pants, and then just my size. This one is Stan Herman. We have got Michael Austin Rugged Wear. Look, I found a Free People. I've never found Free People at the thrift. That one's a first. Also, two L.L. Bean shirts. Those do well. St. Tropez, a Nike Dry Fit. French Laundry, Nike 
patrons of peace there are so many and all of these were a dollar nike running under armor bass pro a foot joy jacket orvis guys two orvis for a dollar north river this Coors light was only a dollar as well that one's a really good one and then two scrubs med couture and gray's anatomy which is a great brand so a lot a lot of clothes but some good ones so if you're interested in anything or want a size let me know the nurse slipper at yahoo.com and i will see you on the next one